So when you think about atrocious things that Russia has ever done, you usually think about war crimes, human rights violations, dictators, gulag, censorship, and so on. But there is also something that many people are unaware of, which is the atrocities of Russian cuisine. And trust me, there are some nasty things lurking out there. So for your own sake, I'm going to start with some mildly horrifying stuff, and then it'll be continuously getting worse. Okay, firstly, I want to talk about putting stuff in jars. And I swear to God, Russian elderly is fucking obsessed with putting everything in these. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that if Napoleon's doctor was a Russian grandma, his penis would have been in one of them jars now. I remember living with my babushka as a child, and one of the shelves in the fridge was always full of these jars. And the amount of jars in our flat now went down, up until the moment when my mother decided that Babushka is gotta go and rented her another apartment. But actually, I don't have anything against pickles or canned tomatoes. It's just the habit which is annoying. Next, we have Russian school food. And honestly, are you even surprised? Like, almost anywhere in the world there is some terrible school food. And, well, Russia is no exception to this rule. Commonly, it's mashed potato, which is kinda cold and tastes like nothing, with cutlets, which will haunt you in your dreams. And yeah, in certain schools it may look edible. However, in others... What? Wait. What the hell is that? By the way, they also serve drinks with that food. For example, this cacao, which is essentially the same thing that my father drank at school during the 80s, in the Soviet Union. And all these people probably drank the same fucking muddy water as I did. This shitty drink is literally older than Russian state. Okay, enough about school food, cause we're entering the worst segment of this video. Russian New Year dishes. I don't have a clue what's up with that tradition to eat the worst dishes of the entire cuisine celebrating Christmas and New Year, but that's something that the majority of Russians does for some reason. The most famous New Year dish is an Olivier salad, which is something not that bad actually. I'd say it's questionably good. Sometimes the amount of mayo they put into it is crazy, but aside from that, it's completely edible. However, for some fucking reason, people often serve this in basins and even buckets? Um, I feel like I went down some pretty strange rabbit hole. Anyways, the next thing is called a kroshka, and it's basically the same Olivia salad, but you pour a whole bottle of kwas into it, turning it into a freaking soup. And if you fellow Americans want to imagine what it feels like, take a bowl of cob salad and pour one or two cans of non-alcoholic beer into it. Though, even that will probably taste better. Honestly, even though I'm Russian, I cannot wrap my head around it. Like, how do you come up with such an idea? Though, you know, I probably can guess what happened. I bet some Russian grandpa probably got drunk, spilled kwas all over the table and ruined the olivia salad. And then family still had to eat it, cause nobody is making another bucket of olivier. But the next thing is even worse. It's called dressed herring, and oh my god it's a mess. First of all, if you google pictures of that thing, at first you may assume that's some kind of an alias cake. But in reality it's a freaking salad made of potatoes, carrots, onions, fish and a lot of mayonnaise. That alone already should be it's illegal in my illegal. opinion. But, aside from that, it's also served cold. Dude, it's Russian winter, at least minus 15 outside. Why in the world would you eat cold food? By the way, this bottom part tastes the worst, and it actually comes from the next atrocious dish, which is holodets. Oh no, there is also the Livnoya, which is almost the same thing, and both of these are equally awful. The difference is that holodets is the jellied meat, while zlivnoye is the jellied anything, basically. And if zlivnoye usually looks like there is some gore on your plate, holodets straight up looks like AI-generated nightmares. Like, what the fuck is this? Why does it look like a rat? Why do people eat that? I don't know the answer to any of these questions. But I know for sure it doesn't taste any better than it looks. Cause when I was eating it for the first time as an 8-year-old kid, I just burst to tears, and honestly, I don't even think it's a childish reaction. I'd probably react the same today. It basically tastes like frozen fat with some cold meat inside of it. And you know what's the worst thing about this dish? It's not even how it looks or tastes. It's the fact that both my mother and father told me that they didn't like it growing up, but eventually started enjoying it as adults. 
And that sounds absolutely terrifying to me. I mean, I'd much rather die right here and right now than live to see the future in which I enjoy this abomination of a dish. So if you ever see me eating haladets, just shoot me immediately. I grant you permission.